this turn. So we just got back to LA last week and as you know we were in the Bay Area. We spent a good three weeks out in the Bay Area. We were only supposed to stay a week but we ended up staying three weeks because as you guys know money passed away while we were there so we decided to stay back for a little longer just to spend time with family and friends while we were grieving. Now we're back in LA and instead of being at home because everything is just everything kind of reminds us of money and Michi. I decided to come out and go camp for a night or two. Uh, also take Navi out because she seems to be also grieving so she loves the outdoors coming out here is gonna be good for her so hopefully she's gonna be super happy I like this spot because it's pretty clean and it's not super crowded I brought my fishing gear hopefully I catch something I've kind of been in this gunk mode for a while now for the past few years every time I get a fishing license which is not cheap I would get probably less than 10 fish every year so i'm hoping to change that this year uh, trout season is open so i'm gonna do some trout fishing hopefully i catch them today i saw on fish brain that a lot of people catch some really big ones here so we'll see how that goes i hope there's gonna be some good campsites around Okay. how hot it is when I checked the weather it said it was gonna be cold so I did not pack any shorts no t-shirts all I brought was long sleeve and long pants as you can tell Whew. Bobby. turkey heart like turkey heart Yes. Stay. Yes. Paul. 
Paw. Good girl. Urf. Yeah. set up the tent put some stuff in there in a little bit of a rush the picnic area across the street where a lot of people go fishing they actually are gonna close the gate in about 30 minutes hopefully catch a fish if I can't catch a fish today that's what I'll be having if not I do have some food but we'll see how how that goes I don't know I think I'm out of luck here the reviews that I saw were probably the photos probably taken somewhere else there's no fishing here as you can tell, the water is super shallow. I doubt there's any any pools around. I could keep walking. I think I'm just gonna keep walking around, check it out, give Navi a nice walk, and then see if I can find a pool. We can find a nice pool where there may be fish. That would be great. It's okay. Let me come. Good girl. Okay, let's go. Are you ready to go get it? Yeah! Good girl! Go get him! What? Good job! So clean. She doesn't want to touch the water. It's literally two inches shallow, but she doesn't want to go through it. Yes! Good job! Good job, baby! Wow, you did great! You did great! Come. You ready, baby? something Been good Navi oh hello let's go 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 I haven't decided yet if I want to sleep in the tent or in the car what would you guys do if you were me would you rather sleep in the car or would you rather sleep on a tent I feel like when it's cold uh, and there's wind I'd rather sleep in the car, in the tent, you get a lot of noise. And it also is a three season tent, so it does tend to get pretty cold at night. I feel like there's a little more headroom in the tent versus in the car, once I put the mattress, there's little to no space. I'm not super tall, but I'm not short either. I do kind of have to hunch a little bit in there. So I guess back to my question, are you guys the type to want to sleep in the car more or would you rather sleep on the tent? You want to sleep in the car? 
or do you want to sleep on the tent? I also do get a lot of questions about the drawer system here and it's nothing too special but if you guys are interested let me know and maybe I can talk a little bit more about it. I also wanted to make it myself because that way when I fold the seats down it levels out with the seats when they're folded down versus when you buy them they're either taller or shorter so I wanted to do that and it's cool because like they go all the way back so they're super deep as you can see and I keep most of my camping stuff here so every time I go camp I don't have to pack everything and unpack so everything kind of just stays here and then on this side this is the kitchen side this is where I keep my stoves propane my utensils my pan so if you guys want to know more about this let me know six o'clock right now so usually not it's dinner time so we have our kibble some duck bites and some turkey hearts ready for dinner okay eat it sit yes paw yes Sun's kind of going down now, so gotta hurry up and get dinner going while I still have some light. For dinner, I'm gonna be making a super simple dinner. I'm gonna have soba noodle. Ooh, that is melting. It's next to the stove. Should be very simple. I have my noodles here. Got my beef that I'm gonna be uh, frying up in this pan. Dinner should be ready soon.
gonna have dinner. Rarely do I drink, but tonight feels like the night to do it. Ah, disgusting. I do think alcohol is disgusting. There's no way you can tell me that alcohol tastes good. There's always a little bit in there that just tastes disgusting. I don't like drinking it for the taste of it. Mm. The wakame really changes the flavor of the soba. It's so windy again. I don't know how I get so lucky that every time I go camping, it just gets windy. It's been like that the past year. The beef was cooked perfectly. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little bits of burnt pieces, burnt edges. That's the best. Dipping it in this concoction that I made with salt, togarashi, and sesame oil. Mm. Also having it with some yuzu kosho. Mm -hmm. Very citrusy, very peppery. It's seven o'clock right now. The sun already went down. Still a little bit of light, but the wind is just. Mm -mm. I think I'm for sure gonna sleep in the car tonight. Mmm. Skincare time. Got ready for bed, washed my face, did my makeup, makeup, um, you know what I mean, skincare. I would say that I got ahead of myself with the drink. I did not finish it. I didn't like it. <laughs> today was a really good day. I really wanted to get out the house today because being at home, it's, it is it is very depressing, especially with Michi's passing. That was really hard for me. And then Money's passing just within three months. I think that took a really big toll on us. Whaley wanted to come, but then she had a lot of work to do. She kind of just stayed back and then she went over to Sophie, so she has company. I realized that this is our first camping trip together, just the two of us. So this will be the first of many. After Michi's passing, she didn't really show too much difference in her personality. But after Money's passing, I think it took a really big toll on her, especially since her and Money were really close together. Yeah, she's changed a lot ever since Money's passing. I think she feels very lonely now. When Michi passed, she had Money. But now that money's gone too, she's a very dog kind of dog where she thrives on having other dogs as company. Although she is really close to me and Whaley and she knows that we're her parents, there's still that part of her that still can't forget what humans can do. And I think that really comes with all the trauma that she's gone through. Um, and it really shows a lot that, you know, she's very comfortable with dogs, but with humans, there's still like, even if it's just a little bit of doubt, there is that doubt. <laughs> She's a good girl.
Another one? Yes. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere, Navi. Navi, how would you rate this camping trip so far, from 1 to 5? What about the food that you've been getting this trip, from 1 to 5? What about the activities that you've been getting on this trip from 1 to 5? Solid zeros overall. Hmm. That's okay. I understand. You know what time it is. I think she's finally at the point where she enjoys brush, brushing her teeth or teeth brushing. I think also because Michi really liked getting her teeth brushed and she kind of picked up on it like, oh, she actually kind of likes it. So maybe, maybe it is good. Maybe, maybe I could, I should give it a try. Okay, let me see. sit there it's kind of uncomfortable for me though all right i'm gonna hit the sack 